Hello and welcome to the Excel VBA object series. In the previous video, we started working with the range object, and specifically, we looked at how to target the range, how, how to reference a range or a group of cells. In this video, we'll continue with the range object, and we will look at some of the properties and methods of the range object. So we've already seen how to select a range. We've been using the select method and we can also use the activate method. There's a slight difference between the two. And the difference is that the activate method of the range object activates a single cell within the current selection. However, if there's no selection, the activate method works in the same way the select method does. See this example. Let's select range D2 to H8, select. And now if we say range F6 activate, is activated in a cell within the selection, and that's the active cell. As we've seen in previous videos, the activate and select methods of the worksheet and workbook objects work slightly different. We can select several worksheet objects, but we can only activate one, while workbook objects can only be activated. Once selected, we can refer to that range simply with selection, and we've seen that in the previous video already. We've also seen in previous videos how to get or add values from and to a range. And for that we use the property value. So we can set or add or, or write the value to a range with range a1.value equals 100 or this could be a, a, a string of text and if the range is a group of cells, the value will be added to each of the cells. And we can get the value in a cell or a range in the same way. Usually we put that into a variable. So for example, we could say my value equals range a1.value and my value will get this value that we just added in cell a1. There are some other properties to add values or to fill in values in a range and those are fill down, fill up, fill right and fill left. And as the name indicates, that will fill, based on a range, the value in a, in a given direction. So for example, if we, if we write range A1, A10, fill down, it's going to fill with the same value all of those uh, cells. If we have an automatic list, though, we will fill automatically that range with the name of the days of the week. Another way to add content or values to a range is using a validation list. So let's add, for example, a validation list in range D2 with the name of the days of a week. And that would be range d2.validation.add. And then the type is going to be an Excel validation list. And the formula 1 is going to be equal to sheet 1 exclamation a1 to A7, and that's the standard format we use in Excel. Another way to add a validation list is using a comma delimited string. So, for example, if we say val list equals, and we write manually or we get somehow the names of the days of the week separated with a comma, then we can use that variable in the formula 1 as just like this. So depending on the situation, we can use one way or the other. And we can add any other type of validation, so for example, a whole number validation, a date validation, uh, and so on, with the exact same expression. But then we have to change the type of validation and we have these options here which match what we see in this uh, data validation dialog. Now let's see how to copy paste a range. So we can copy a range with the copy method of the range. That's very simple and we've done that before. So for example here range a1 to a7 dot copy and then we can write range for example, h1 to h7 dot paste special. And again, if we want to paste that in a different sheet, we will have to reference the worksheet here, uh, or if it's a different workbook, the same story. Note that we've used paste special, 
because paste is a method of the worksheet object. So we could also write worksheets sheet two, for example, dot paste, and that would paste exactly that range in a different worksheet altogether. But anyway, the paste special method is usually more convenient because it allows to specify a destination range and accepts several other arguments to specify further details of the paste method. So for example, the first argument is the paste method and it can be pasting all or pasting just um, the comments or the formats or formulas or the validation uh, and so on. You can see here all the different options. There are some other arguments to specify the, the type of operation or to specify whether to skip blanks or to transpose the content of the range. But there is a faster way to copy paste a range and that's using the destination argument of the copy method. So for example, if we say range a1 to a7 dot copy and we have a space here, then we can specify here the destination. So let's say sheet two dot range h1 for example and thus we are copying and pasting that range in just one line of code if we use the insert method after copying a range that will actually paste the values but if nothing has been copied before insert will just insert a number of rows or columns or cells depending on the reference range and we can also determine in which direction the other uh, cells will move. So it could either be Excel down, moving down, or moving Excel to the right, moving uh, to the right. If we want to clear the contents in a range, we can use the value property. So the range dot value equals nothing or VV null string or empty, which is for numbers. Or we can also write range dot clear contents. If we just used clear, that will clear the contents and the format too. And we can also just delete a range altogether. In that case, the cells around the range will move and we can also specify in which direction we want those cells to move. So it could be Excel up or Excel to left. In the next video, we'll see how to format a range. So how to format the font, the interior and the borders of a cell or a, or a range, and how to format the color of the font, interior or borders or any other object, and also how to align the content in a range or how to change the dimensions of the range, or how to merge or group cells of a range, or lock and lock cells, or also hide a range. So stay tuned for that and thanks for watching.